Here are all the different pieces that you need to perform a bronchoscopy in a pediatric patient. The first piece is the bronchoscope itself. Here you can see in the front that there are two side ports that facilitate and enhance ventilation. In the back here on the bottom is where the anesthesia circuit attaches. On the top is a hole for the prism. The prism is what you use to reflect light into the tube of the bronchoscope if you're going to use it with your eyeball instead of the telescope. There are two notches for the prism to sit. The first one is where you want to keep it if you're going to use the telescope. When you push it in, it can crack the telescope, so you don't want to do that when the telescope is in place. So we almost always keep it here in the first. When you put it down, it juts into the opening of the bronchoscope and can fracture the Hopkins rod telescope. There are a couple other plugs that attach to the end of the bronchoscope and each serve a different purpose. The first is a window. It's completely covered in glass. When you put it on, it's a closed circuit, so it allows you to fully ventilate in and out. But to visualize, you have to look with your eyeball through the glass. The next is this rubber cap with a hole in it. It does allow you to stick in the telescope, and you can see it being inserted in here. The problem is that the telescope can then spin freely. It doesn't hold its position. If you're going to use it to ventilate, you can use your finger, occlude the hole, and that closes the circuit as well. Sometimes you'll see a free-floating metal piece that does not have the rubber cap. It is the exact same thing, it's just missing that one piece. The most important piece is the bridge. There is, this is the short bridge. It attaches and clips on and allows you to secure the Hopkins rod telescope. You want to make sure you have the right length. Here we're inserting the telescope and as you can see once we engage it and lock it, it holds everything in place and does not freely spin unlike the rubber cap. The entire array just slides out if you need to go in with other instruments. There is a long bridge as well. It works in the exact same way and obviously fits the longer telescope. You always want to make sure that you have the right length bridge with the appropriate telescope. If it's too short, you're not going to be able to see. If it's too long, it juts out the front end. And then again, slides out as well. So you can leave the bridge attached to the telescope and swap as you see fit. The last piece to fully assemble the bronchoscope is to cover the side port that we use for suction. The hole in this uh, little plug is asymmetric, so once you get it on, you have to spin it until it seats and lines up. So that suction port then needs to be covered with a rubber cap that has a hole. This is called the gray man with hole. And there is the fully assembled bronchoscope. Now to actually use the telescope, you need a light source. So you plug the light cable into the attachment of the telescope. That allows the light to go through the optics of the telescope, not the prism. You put the light cord on the prism when you're going to actually use your eyeball to look through the microscope without the telescope in place. So make sure you attach it to the post that's connected to the actual telescope, which is the one that's further in the back. There are a couple of different types of cameras, but they all just click onto the back of the telescope. Now you're pretty much good to go. In order to take anything out though, you need some sort of grasper. This is an optical grasper. It opens and closes there on the front end. You want to make sure that it's long enough to reach through the bronchoscope. Now we're going to actually use the longer telescope here that matches the length of the optical grasper and we're going to fit it in. The grasper on the back has its own uh, attachment that allows it to clip on. So it's kind of like the bridge for the telescope. And again, a separate light cord onto the optical grasper means that during the case, you don't have to swap the light cord back and forth. Once you are in the airway and have the foreign body in sight, you can pull out the entire array with the bridge, clip the camera onto the optical grasper from your telescope, and now you're ready to go back in quickly to get to the foreign body and grasp it. Once you pull everything out and you've removed the foreign body, you can remove the grasper, put your telescope back into the bronchoscope, and reattach the camera, and you're ready to go again. 
Something else that is super critical to mention is that this telescope is made up of a series of mirrors all the way through. If there's any pressure that causes it to bend, it's going to crack those mirrors and render the telescope useless. So always make sure that when you grab, you grab from the camera or this fat part in the back. Never grab it from the shaft of the telescope itself.